from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. For 44 years, this weather station at UC Davis has been providing detailed information about the climate to the National Weather Service. Air and soil temperature, relative humidity, evaporation, solar radiation, and wind speeds. And those details tell a changing story. Richard Snyder, an atmospheric scientist, says the Sacramento Valley has seen shifts in its climate over the past four decades. For example, 40, 50 years ago, it was much colder than it is now. That We had more chance of frost than we do recently. We have very little frost, actually. But Snyder says that doesn't mean we are experiencing climate change. No, you actually can't. Um, you can talk about changes in the weather over the last 40 or 50 years, but when you're talking about climate, you're talking about thousands of years. And we'll see variations, you know, from decade to decade that may or may not be related to climate change. Snyder says weather forecasting has improved dramatically because of more ground stations like this one, satellite imagery and computer modeling. Back in the 70s and 80s, I think we probably had a little bigger storms, rainstorms. Um, you know, sometimes we have short memories. We don't remember how bad it was in the past. You know, because we, we identify with what just happened. But you're not comfortable by saying this is due to global warming? No, no, I could never say that. Not based on one station and, and certainly not, uh, not in the short of a time period. Because of campus expansion, a newer climate station has been built a few miles away that will eventually replace the older one on Campbell Road. Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.